Hi everyone and welcome to this video. I recently installed Hypertate on a PC for a virtual cabinet and it worked well for me. It was a bit of a journey in discovering, you know, how to do it and, and gathering all the info. So I thought I'd showcase it today and show the features and a broad installation guide, if you will. That being said, I'm just an end user of the project and not taking any credit for the amazing work that was done. Hypertate is a version of Hyperspin that was configured specifically for vertical games, predominantly shooters. It was created by Darren Nolan for use in his Naomi cabinet, which has a monitor that only does 31 kilohertz. Now, this is the, the whole point of this video and the patch. Uh, 31 kilohertz is good for a lot of the games in Hypertate. Uh, namely Naomi, Taito, and the PC games, but it's not good for the MAME games. Uh, so some people, like myself, are more interested in the MAME games, and they wanted that to play in 15 kHz, because these games on a 31 kHz monitor don't look right. This is where a bunch of members of the Neo Arcadia forum, which is a French forum, released a 15 kHz patch for it and I will show how to install it. Let's go through the requisites. So first I recommend you download the two files in the links and the description below. So you got the main Hypertate installation file uh, htv2.rar that's about uh, 30 gigs and that's hosted on Mega and that website has whole sorts of uh, limitations so it will take a while so I recommend you start with that. And then you got the 15 kilohertz patch on GitHub. Get that out of the way so it's ready for when you want to get started. The next recommendation is to use Windows 7 64 bits. It will work apparently with other OS's, but that's what the patch was made on and that's what I used. And I, I tried using 32 bit first and I had issues. So that's a good example of why it's best to go with Windows 7 64 bits. You will need a D drive or partition with a minimum of uh, 36 gig free. I mean, that's not a problem these days, but it's good to know uh, just in case. You will also need an internet connection. I know that sound like uh, a given, but for some people, at least me, when I install PCs for uh, cabinets, I dedicate the hardware for the cabinet. I don't install internet. I, I don't want internet on there. So I had to actually put a USB Wi-Fi dongle just to get those steps that you will see later to fix the videos and install Mozilla and Flash. You will need CRT EMU driver configured on your machine. So that means an ATI card, download the drivers from uh, Calamity and go through the steps on his website. Gdura, I think is where it's hosted. I'll put a link down there. Um, make sure it works and then you can proceed with the rest of the installation. Last thing you need is 7-zip and that should be everything you need to get started. Okay, on with the install. So you have your two files. You start by extracting the first file to a folder. And then here's the important step. You want to open the zip 15 kilohertz patch uh, into 7-zip, select all the folders and extract them over uh, the folders where you've extracted the other uh, file so the htv2.ran so the the folder structure will be the same in the patch there's less files but those files need to be overwritten and 7-zip can do that so you just do that procedure and then it will ask if you want to replace the files and you said yes to all that allows to only replace the files that need to be replaced and not entire folders and uh, incidentally uh, remove needed files from the original uh, installation folder. Then if you have done that in a separate folder to keep it clean, you want to move all the contents of that folder to the root of the D drive or partition. Once that's done, you can run the setup 64 bat uh, batch file or the 32 if you have a 32 bit OS. Uh, from that point on, it's uh, very self-explanatory. Uh, you, you will be guided through everything. It will install all the .NET fr framework and some uh, other files and DirectX and stuff like that. It will run you through uh, installation of daemon tools. There will be some instructions for that in a text file. It's fairly easy as well. 
And after that, that's where it will try to install Mozilla and Firefox and then Flash. Uh, I had issues with that because the um, the installers were um, outdated, especially the Flash one. So I had to go manually do that um, and go go fetch a, a fresh version of, of Flash. After that, there's a trick and there's a, again a text file that explains what to do. You basically go to a link in the text file and that will display a flash video. The problem with me is that that flash video is displayed for like three seconds and for, <laughs> during these three seconds you have to right click settings and go disable hardware acceleration in the flash plugin. That's very important otherwise all your videos in Hyper Tate will be displayed as a green screen. So that's the fix for that. Then you want to download Groovy Mame 0170, again link in the description, and extract that and place it into the arcade slash emulator slash Groovy Mame folder. You want to rename Mame64.exe to Groovy Mame.exe, and that's it, you're finished. Before you start Hyperspin, you may want to start HyperHQ and have a look at the controls. Apparently they are mapped for the JAMA SD and so I've displayed a screenshot here of the default controls uh, and also of MAME. Personally at the moment I'm using a USB controller, MC Cthulhu, with a custom stick as you can see in there and so I had to uh, use x -Patter. Um, and later I will use a JPEG, which I'm assuming I'll have to change a couple of keys as well. This concludes the video. Thanks to everybody that contributed to the project. Merci aux utilisateurs du forum Neo Arcadia. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.